Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are carrying on with our Bretonia campaign. So, uh, yeah, brand new campaign. Isn't it a lot of fun? Uh, but God, we made some silly errors in the last one. Yeah, it's all good fun, though. Um, so, yeah, Leon Kerr is heading back to Koran, because, well, it needs his help. Because, um, there's a guy called Mash Edbutt up here. He's big and green. Well, actually, he's quite small and green. He's green, anyway. Um, so he's got green skin, and, uh, that means that he's bad. People aren't supposed to be green. So, we're going to have to deal with him. Uh, but also, these guys are nearby, and together they probably could we assault Marienburg and do some pretty bad things to it. So, I'm a little worried. I see you. But, um, we will be able to ruin our peasant economy soon, so there is that. So, it's not all bad. Uh, but yeah, I think we might have to take Gorsal and Arnau pretty soon. I'm just not sure how we're going to be able to do that. Just time-wise, we just don't really have the time. We can have another rebellion in Marienburg, like, this turn. It's ridiculous. Um, it's just, it's never ending. So, let's carry on. So yeah, Johan Hurtwig just spawned, so there we go. More Marienburgers trying to retake Marienburg. Classic humans. Oh, perfect. Okay, this is absolutely spot on. These guys decide to attack uh, Leon Kerr, which is fantastic. That's really good. So we should be able to wrap these guys up and have a good old laugh at their expense. So let's do it. Oh, I'm really glad they attacked Leon Kerr, and not someone who mattered. So, uh, you lot line up. So one big, 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 I think that's not bigs. Uh, problem that we have is that we were in March starts, I'm pretty sure. So, um, all our troops are going to be tired, and that will actually prove pretty bad for us. That will prove pretty bad for us, I must say. Although, actually, hovering over, this also is a confident and fresh. I guess I wasn't in March stance. I thought I was, though. I really thought I was. Or maybe it'll kick in in a second. So, yeah, you go over there, you go over there. Um, when um, Lewin says, though, when he goes, The lady is chosen, it sounds like he's trying to break up. Um, I mean, not break up, but like trying to, trying to deter some guy who's being a bit forward in a bar or something. You know? It's like. You're pretty. You coming home with me? That's that's how people talk, by the way. That's how humans do it. Um, and he's just like, ah, the lady has chosen. No, it's a vibe I get. You can tell. Lewin's clearly a womanizer, though. He loves the lady. Yeah, very tired. Everyone's very tired. So yeah, just it took a second to kick in. Clearly, the thing that said that they were tired was tired and didn't kick in very quickly. Which is convenient. So yeah, we are going to try and get on top of this army. Real quick, so we can just wipe that out and reset by the time this next one comes in. Mm. Alright. Come on. Hell yeah. Oh dear. Alright, you know what? Let's let's get the little sods. All right, we're gonna we're gonna sandwich them. That's what we're gonna do. And they've already smoked bone with the pegs. It's nice, which is quite funny. But uh, yeah, a bunch of charge, bunch of charges, charging, chargily. And this should be good. So those nasty skulkers getting absolutely destroyed. That's what I like to see. And yeah, those nasty skulkers got. Messed right up. Right, let's buff them because they're not doing so hot. And uh, you lot attack um, them. Let's move them up. And let's charge over here. You guys fall back. Leon Kerr can keep dealing with them. You shoot them just for a second though. Don't want you overdoing it. Uh, yeah, this is all going nicely. Lovely, lovely. And now let's line up our infantry. And all of our cavalry. Again, okay, move back a bit. So they're getting absolutely decimated. Bianca, keep chasing Bloodgit. What was it? Bloodgit. Bloodgit. Bloodgit sounds about right. Okay, come on. Pull back. And oh wow, yeah, we're getting some good damage into them. Good news. Good news. Yeah, it's all looking good. 
Oh, you attack the nicest girl, because... Good boys. Uh, we killed Bludget. Alright, you lot run in. Do your worst. Or best, either way. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Very sneezy. Uh, right, you lot can shoot those orc boys. Wonderful, I'm glad we got them bogged down. And, whoops. And, I don't know. There, ish. Okay, everybody charge in. Wonderful. This is going great. This is wonderful. Good job, boys. And girls. Just good job, everyone. Absolutely decimated them. Alright, you guys start shooting elsewhere because you're going to hit more of my knights and I can't have that. Yeah, check this out. You're doing great. <laughs> I love watching the bugs just take off. <laughs> Poor knights got to hang on for dear life. Oh, bloody marvellous. Alright, so, close victory. And there we have it. Um, so they attacked us, and, and we completely slaughtered them. It's fantastic. Even being tired, it went great. Uh, do I want to go for the extra money and lose the chivalry? I mean, I'm not going to sell. I'm not going to ransom orcs, am I? That's just silly. I've got to execute them. Just got to. The migration. Uh, so this is actually great because we are losing so much control in all our territories anyway. It sort of... it makes no difference at all. Uh, losing control. In fact, we kind of want to have control go down anyway. So this just means that we can have everyone really mad at us, but still get the benefit of having some growth. So that should help build up Marienburg in a hurry. So we are going to welcome them. So a great migration comes to our borders, demanding shelter from larger threats abroad. Do we let them cross into our territory or turn them away? We are working very hard to, to protect our peasants from the marauding um, miscreants of the woods. So yeah, we will absolutely, absolutely welcome them in. We need a bigger workforce anyway. You know, it's important. We have a lot of people on the march. We need to get people in the farms. So, we are welcoming them. There we go. Right, so. This jerk is uh, being a jerk. And I don't think I can reach this little sod, can I? I can't. That is regrettable. But next turn, they'll probably attack me. Um, and hopefully these guys won't. Hopefully. And we'll have, we'll have a couple more people here. But... Oh, Marienburg's in a state. Uh, do I? Oh, do I end the event early? How much longer have I got? 13 more turns. That's a lot of chivalry. You know, we are at 100. We are we are 10%. Oh, wait, we need to get to 2,000, not 1,000. Okay, well, we are 5% through the campaign already. Uh, ooh, I get Royal Pegasus. Probably just wait for Beaky, though. Um, Lionhearted. Sort of pointless when I don't have Rally or Stand Your Ground yet. Um, let's go with Guardians of the Lady. We will eventually have Pegasus Knights and things, but until then, we should probably just go with, like, Lowborn Militia, just to make sure his, his basic troops are looking good. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I know it's probably, uh, it's not min-maxing for, like, the final battles, but it's three skill points, like, who cares? Uh, magical reserves, earthing, chain lightning, comet Cassandora. I mean, there's some good stuff here. Should probably go with spells first. Uh, comet Cassandora, I think, is the most fun because I can control where it's going to go. That's going to be can more useful in a siege go. battle, for instance. I can just have one comet land above the gates and kill basically a whole Champion unit. Uh, so yeah, you're going to have to go over here, and <laughs> you're just going to have to not get ruined. Uh, thing is, we might have an additional turn here. Um, safe. Because we have wolves, right? So unless these guys get artillery, then they'll be able to hold out an additional turn for Lewin to come back. So although I might just be attacking this and then running to maybe here, you know, I'll, I will be close. And we're still on tier one here. So Dubois might get killed, but we can take back Marienburg pretty easily and without much of a loss, really. So it's not too, too bad. I'm mostly just trying to get my chivalry up, so... That's the main thing. Uh, okay, I think that's it then. We will get uh, technology done, so we get even more chivalry against the uh, greenskins. So that's good. Oh look, orcs. 
Ah, and these guys aren't attacking us yet. You seek the lady's favor. That is infinitely frustrating because I cannot reach there unless I move from here. God, I hate that. Um, I just some magic. I don't have the army here. And that is too big an army for my garrison at Koran to fight off, I think. King Lewin. So yeah, this is very bad. Also, uh, Johan here is just going to keep raising his forces too. But hey, at least we'll have extra weapon strength against Greenskins. So that's something. And we've really upset them. Too long have the Greenskins pillaged Bretonian lands. And Marienburg lands, I guess. So yeah, we've got to destroy Mashed, but... And it's actually going to be quite difficult, apparently. Uh, I mean, it's not. Our archers are going to be able to make very short work of all their boar boys. Um, and their night goblin archers. And yeah, I think we'll be fine. We should be fine. Yeah, I'll we'll probably be fine. Okay, yeah, wonderful. So, uh, the fact that I've stretched myself so thin. Normally fine. So, so with uh, this campaign, the usual strategy would either be to farm all the green skins in Quran and wait for the event to finish and then start expanding. Or to go to Marienburg, take Marienburg and then destroy Grungzint so you can wipe out all of the ridiculous debuffs and green skin nonsense that's happening. I chose to do <laughs> the most difficult of both of those options. Uh, you know, combined. The, the most difficult aspects of both of those. Which is spread myself thin and don't limit the enemy's ability to fight me. So it's, yeah, it's an interesting approach. We'll just have to see if it pans out or if it was um, just the worst idea. But I gotta say, I'm pretty, uh, pretty chuffed that I've decided to give it a go. Because it has been rather exciting so far. I'm sure I won't think so once um, once everything goes to hell. Which feels fairly inevitable. And don't like that. Not like that at all. Oh yep, that's a, that's a dead knight. No, 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 why have to, why do you have to be homing goblins? I hate homing goblins. They're the worst kind. Alright, mess him up. And, okay. Well, I don't like that much. Oh, please stop that. Okay. <clears throat> poor, poor boys. Let's mess them up. Alright, everyone. Guard mode. Start blasting them. Again, guard mode. Start blasting them. Uh, that was probably a mistake. Alright, back to Knights. Get out of it. Okay, we're good, we're good. Don't worry about it. We're fine. We're all good. Alright, go fight those trolls. Alright, good lads. Okay, good. Good. Alright, go for those savage old boy biggins, please. And... Are uh, you keep shooting them, I guess? Okay, good. Alright, now you guys head this way. And nice the rail are struggling, that's for sure. Definitely struggling. But now, I'm in a position where I can start nuking the enemy stats a bit. And uh, their uh, bodies. There we go, much better. Alright, let's charge in this way. And now the realm survived, though my word, that was close. Okay, start shooting that way, please. And I guess I don't want to attack those guys, do I? Let's charge the back of these night goblins and uh, savage orcs. And I'm going to keep them in reserve so we don't lose them. You guys keep chasing those old boar boy biggers. Or just old boar boys, whatever the hell you are. <laughs> Something. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. Nice. Genuinely real nice. Okay, savage orcs next. You can probably get a bit yes. more stuck in, can't you? Alright, looks like we'll have them, but, uh... We yeah, we're not getting the best replenishment, is the problem. That's something I'm very worried about. And yeah, look at that. Oh, Spearman Arms going torn to bits. Okay. Go kill their archers, yeah? Well, that's no good. Alright, to them. 
and you can charge the back. And take it. Uh, ooh, I don't know what next. Then maybe? We will have to have a follow-up battle, won't we? Oh, that's another concerning factor here. Probably have to have a follow-up battle. Alright, close victory. Okay, we did lose one of our spearmen at arms, which is pretty annoying, actually. And somehow, their Doom Diver catapults managed to escape. Did basically take out all of their um, Orc War Boys, though. So that's good news. That is good news. You seek the lady and, yep. Yeah, they are running so far away. I hate how retreating works. Because that is all... No, no, no. <laughs> I misclicked. That is so frustrating. We are nowhere near Marienburg now. All right, well, Marienburg's gone. Okay, so... You lot head up there. Uh, God, we have, like, no infantry left. Or cavalry. Or cavalry. Basically just looting a bunch of archers. Yeah, this is going to be a little... A little bit rough. Going to be a bit rough. Hmm. I don't like all the trees here. It's a bit of a crappy spot. Okay, so Doom Diver Catapults, let's just get straight to him. And you guys start charging that way. Good. And uh, you lot, I guess, just start shooting Goblin Wolf Chariots, because... Yeah, they're just gonna sit there, aren't they? What are they? Hard to say, honestly. Hard to know what they're gonna do. Okay, so they're dealt with. Next up, let's get those Savage Old Ball Boy Biggins. Or just Savage Old Ball Boys, whatever they are. Just Savage Old Ball Boys. Okay, I don't like they just use Sneaky Stabbing, but I think we've got the jump on them, so we should be able to kill them pretty quickly. Don't like the extra archers here, though. I don't like their Lord Boom here, but I think we're fine. Just about. And yeah, we are dealing with them in a hurry. Okay. Good. Thanks to Snipes, really doing us a solid here. Yeah, so they're struggling. Oh, they're going to struggle, though, that's for sure. Alright, in you get. No, who, not you. Lewin, you lunatic. Okay. Let's debuff him. Alright, Curse of Midnight Wind. Doing a solid. Uh, don't know this much, but Knight should do okay. Alright, into the next archers. Uh, I just saw some loonies flying. But I think we're okay. Alright, let's see how this does. Mm, fine. Did okay. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. Alright, that's a win. Just gotta bother these chariots. But yeah, that's uh, that's game. That's game. There's, there's no way to get now that one. Okay, go mess him up. I guess you can use Lion Shield, don't think it matters. Well, I guess it does if you use a Sneaky Stabbing or something. Actually, no, it doesn't. Sneaky Stabbing doesn't add magic damage. What am I, th what am I thinking of? Thinking of, um... Fist of Cork. Silly me. Okay, decisive victory. Alright, so... Uh, don't need the money. Execute them. Serves them right. Ugh, oh, look at that. Terrible. We are nowhere near. We are nowhere near here. Uh, ooh, I'm a fortune. Lovely. Uh, okay, so... What I think I might have to do... Is, uh... Oh, no, you have to go and march stars regardless. So what I might have to do is just go to Corral and sit there. Just get the most, uh... Most out of our replenishment. So, low-born militia, so we get the extra um, melee defense. Not that we'll get melee defense for many units, just these three. Uh, and then, Mary Cetrus, let's, uh... Ooh, come at Castle Door, it'd be fun. I didn't really have the chance to use it in the last battle. I just have to be more of a, uh, more of a surgeon. Alright, let's go with Magical Reserves so we get more Magical Reserves. Sounds good. Also, I can't wait until we get to, um, rank 10. 
so we can start unlocking some of our regiments of renown. That'd be very nice. But yeah, this is bad though, because what's going to happen is these guys are going to attack, and then maybe I'll fight them off, right? Maybe I'll fight them off. But then once I've done that, Johan will attack. Even if I win against the orcs, Johan's going to attack afterwards, because he gets his turn afterwards. So unless these guys decide they're not going to attack this turn, then I can't really do much to stop um, stop me having to fight off two completely separate larger armies that I can manage. It's, it's bad. It's bad news. But, oh well. Research available. Let's do economic investment, shall we? I think that sounds good. Although uh, chivalric code might be nice too. So we can start getting into... Um, uh, confederations. So we can start confederating people. That could be quite good. Also, that really upgrades a peasant economy. But 31 turns seems like quite a lot. <laughs> really does. Oh, I guess not that much. Don't know. Let's go peasant economy, though. Extra growth is nice. I like that. I like the extra growth. Um, there's a few bits and bobs here. Charity would be really good, actually. An extra growth there, too. Alright, let's go that way. There's a bunch of things I can pay for, which, you know, I can't afford to just yet. But unlocking these means that just on a whim I can go, Ooh, yeah, let's get this thing. Because these are all very good. New melee attack plus 10 for peasant mobs. That's ridiculous. I <laughs> love it. Um, I'm never going to use peasant mobs, though, am I? Probably not. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, I, I just need to end the turn now, don't I? I think I do. So yeah, economic investment. We'll we'll do chivalric code and start getting some of the confederations later. But I don't want to rush to confederate because it's a bit boring. And yeah, they are attacking. And apparently it's going to be fairly even, which is uh, a little bit surprising. I mean, the foot squires are definitely going to help, and we will have plenty of spells to cast, so that will help too. You know, we can heal our units as they fight and blast them with the old... Uh, Awaken of the Wood, so there's potential, but a little bit nervous. Alright, so, uh, is that two battering rams? There's two battering rams. Interesting. Also, I can't remember the last time I saw an orc battering ram, actually. They're very cool, though. Very cool indeed. It's a bunch of boards stuck together. <laughs> they look great. Very fun. Uh, anyway, so yeah, let's uh, panic. Or do I just sit right back in the capture point and let them slowly come in? Hmm. I think I might have to do that, you know. It's quite boring. But it would probably spare me. I mean, like, spare me in particular. Just, I will be spared if I play like that. Uh, although, I might need to cover my back. Ugh. Good that I've got these guys in reserve, I suppose. That works. Alright. Um, oh, I got them too. I guess I would like to actually man the walls, though. So, I guess I will. I'll just retreat in a bit. Sound like a plan? Yeah, alright, let's do that. Let's do that. I think getting shots into all these guys is, is too, um, too beneficial. So, let's do that. Uh, also you over there too. Squire. I'm gonna keep the squires back there. But yeah, let's let's get shots in with these guys because I would like to start shooting at Shady here because I can't really stop him. I can't think of anything that I have that could really deal damage to him, which is uh, regrettable. Certainly regrettable. So I mean, towers should be getting some shots in. I mean, my my peasant bowmen Ready. should be getting some shots in too. But it really is the, the is shady that I have the biggest problem with. They will get good value at their orc arrow boys too. Looks like they might be trying to climb up. But if I can do damage to shady, then I'm laughing. I see you don't need to be there, do you? Hello. I mean, there are those orc boys coming, so you know. Uh, could I actually get my foot squires over here and deal with shady? Maybe. I would need her over here to heal them, though. Alright, back you go. Back you go. Ah, oh, you climb down here. Let's do that. 
Hmm. I mean, it looks like I might be able to hit these nasty skulkers. I will have to move a bit. Oh, I could just move to there. That would work. Oh, he's up here. He's up here. Oh, and he's running that way. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Don't like that much at all. Alright, you run back this way then, because they will capture this, and I can't have that. Okay, you start shooting his orc boys. Alright, they're struggling. These guys be climbing up though. And this should go quite well. If it doesn't completely kill my game, what was with the frame rate there? We almost, almost broke them in one. That's nuts. Alright, go attack him. You climb the other way, because we can't have him take this. That would be absolutely tragic. And yep, yeah, you're going to have to run down here now. But yeah, that was pretty damn good against the, um, the Nazi Skulkers. Can you regroup so I can finish you off? That'd be great. Oh my god, what is the frame rate on that? He hates it. Yeah, there you go. And now someone else is going to have to man the battering ram. That's hilarious. We fight for Britonia. Ready to loot. All right, come on. Come on, boys. Come on, boyos. All right, please, please kill him. Come on. You can do it, probably. I'm going to leave him up there, actually, to fight a grog. And ooh. Hmm. Yep, gonna hit these old boys. They're so tightly packed, that should be really good. Nice. So they're broken in. Which obviously sucks. But we've almost killed our Grog. Sorry, Shady. Our Grog's on his way though. Our Grog's up there. Not on his way so much as um, a different place. What are these guys doing? Are they stuck? I think they are. Alright then, fantastic. Let's get you over here. Let's get you over there yesterday. Okay, so you guys have suffered some damage. But, I can heal you, so that's good news. Uh, and you lot, let's hit all you lot too. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I'm not enjoying that though. Not enjoying that much. Okay, you're gonna have to chase them down, I think. Uh, he's not suffering as much as I'd like him to. Yeah, you guys can come back. Heck, what are you doing? I don't, no, I didn't tell you to attack. I'm being an idiot. Okay, I don't like that I'm having to chase these old boys about. Feels very silly to have to do that with uh, with decent troops, you know. But no, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. I really want to know what those old boys are doing. But I don't want to jinx it. <laughs> I'd rather they keep doing what they're doing. Personally. All right, now let's bog them down, but from you know the other side, so our archers can keep shooting into them. Oh crap! That's two units. Okay. All right, you run back now. There's more coming. For my leg. That's an old war boss. And, I mean, that's not a great chunk of troops there, is it? Oh, there he goes. Excellent. Now you climb up there, please. And, okay, they're still unsure about where they're going. So, that's fine. So, yeah, you go finish that guy off. I need I need our grog dead. Quickly! And these orc boys are a bit confused. <laughs> and so are these, which is good. Happy with that. Yeah, they should be dealt with soon. Uh, oh, good. We're shooting into those goblin archers. That's nice. I don't like how little ammo we have left, though. That's a little bit nerve-wracking. But no, we've, we've got this covered, I think. We've got this covered. Alright, you guys 
get down. Because I want uh, Oh, crap, we did it. Alright, so we didn't actually suffer many casualties there. We didn't suffer too many. We lost fewer than a hundred. We lost fewer than a hundred. So we are all set to uh, fight the Empire troops that are coming in. But if this gate stays destroyed, then they might just be able to attack straight away, which is a problem. Hopefully it'll take them a, a, an extra turn to build uh, siege equipment. We'll have to wait and see. Heroic victory. It was very heroic. Yes, it was. Ah, oh, Dubois. Just crushing it. Absolutely crushing it. So, uh, let's execute the captives. And we got some more armor, which is nice. We just got the blessing of the lady, which means they all have... Uh, I say they all have. It's just her army. <gasps> Good. Good. They can't attack straight away. Yeah, so her army just got... Um, uh, the Blessing of the Lady, which is physical resist. But unfortunately, it's just a garrison that she's currently hanging out with. It's not actually her army, so they don't get the benefit of any of that. So, never mind. Just her on her own has managed to get the Blessing of the Lady. She's an agent of the Lady. It's just, it's very silly. Anyway, following a great feast with a much revelry, there is a glut of leftovers. The peasants grumble about hunger and starving. But aren't they always? What to do with this surplus, then? Uh, big old trade bonuses. Nah, no, contented peasants. We'll give it to the peasants because no one will trade with us, even though we've taken Marienburg, which is like the hub of trade for pretty much the entire old world. So, you know, to the peasants it goes. Will they stop their ceaseless complaining if we feed them this once? I suppose we can find out. Sword of Koran. Interesting. A strange mist, which upsets people even more. The peasants are very upset, guys. So, a mist rolls down from the mountains covering the lands of Bretonia. The origin of this dense uh, <laughs> effluvium. What a word. What a word that is. This dense effluvium is as murky as the mist itself. All the people of Bretonia know... Uh, all the... Sorry. All the people of Bretonia know is that... Uh, is that what was not there before is there now. Obfuscating and obscuring all. Yet more troubling than the mist itself is what lies beyond. The shouting and smashing of the greenskin hordes haunt the dreams of the peasants who fear they may be next. The people panic, refusing to leave their homes, lest they be the victims of the slaver slavering, rampaging, orcish host. Well, all right then. And blessing of the Lady Gate. Yay! Lovely. Your deeds in noble and glorious battle have attracted the Fey and ancient lady who has seen fit to bless you with her favour as reward for your heroism. You shine now with newfound radiance. Let no foe block your path. With the lady as your sword and shield, brook no resistance and strike down evil in her name. And here we go, the Sword of Cobalt. So, have three of the following units. Knights of the Lionhearted, which is Knights of the Realm, or Knights of the Realm. So we need one more Knights of the Realm, basically. Uh, we will get rewarded with the Paladin, which is fun. The fog has affected all. It has become so thick that the light of the sun cannot pierce it. So it is across the Bretonian marshes, a land of quarrelsome yet bright climate now despairs under the infernal fog, forsaken by the sun. As the light fades from the land, so too does the Sword of Koran's uh, aura ebb and dim. King Leonker grows concerned, and so, sealing the ancestral blade away, endeavours to discover the source and solution to the impenetrable mist. All across Bretonia, dukedoms report that the mist is giving rise to mania. A greenskin horde rampages there, taking advantage of the murk to smash, pillage, and spread destruction across the land. Although it may not be a permanent solution, the king has an immediate duty to protect his people. And hence having to muster some more forces. Uh, and Otto Graeber is probably going to attack soon, isn't he? Oh dear. So much to do. Uh, so, Enchanted Shield. So, that's for uh, Dubois. And Income for Trade. And Tax Income for Local Brunt. That's great. You know what? She might be she might be a permanent resident of Marienburg. Once I've built it up. Because 12% extra income for Marienburg is a pretty big deal. So, collecting money for the government is a thankless job. Doing so in the midst of the wilderness is practically a death sentence. I have seen your heart. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, I mean, life bloom is pretty great because it means I get a bit of healing um, for all of my all of my units. Not much, only forty hit points. It's pretty pathetic, but it's it's something. You know, it's something. It adds up. Yeah, that's that's the odd blow 
won't result in a, in a death. So it's it's something. So I think life bloom. So every time I cast Awake into the Wood, I get a bit of, uh, you know, a bit of um, healing for everybody. So I think it'll have to do. So, Yonker, you can't reach because you can't push through these guys. So, mm, and you can't get out of there. Okay, the Orcs have doomed Marienburg. Because I now can't reach. Because these lot haven't haven't run away. Uh, and I can't attack with anything else. So I don't really know how to get there. Uh, if I go into the water here, will I be able to move across and land? I won't be able to land in Marienburg, but maybe here? Just, just here, next to it? Uh... Also, Dark Elves are doing alright there. Rakath has taken Albion. Uh, yeah, I think I might have to just jump in the sea and hope for the best. But with the lack of replenishment, I'm a little concerned that, like, Otto Graeber is going to jump into the sea and attack me. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. What do I do? Uh, I'm jumping the sea. Oh, but jumping into the sea through a beach, that is as far as I can get. That is genuinely as far as I can get. That's not just marking me get into the sea and recalculate. That is as far as I can get. Um, oh, this is so frustrating that these guys are here. My magic I mean, it's more frustrating that Johan Hertwig is here, but... What is your you know. we have met before. So, yeah, with the damage I've taken on already from the previous fight, and I think this is probably going to be better than these guys, how they were... I don't know. I really don't know. The, the issue I think I have here is the crossbowman, mostly. King. I guess I'm just going to have to waltz over here and see what's what. You know? I'm just going to have to waltz over here and... Chill, I suppose. Because, uh, unfortunately, moving over here isn't going to scare off the rebels, because rebels aren't scared of anything. They have no no self-preservation, you know? Um, oh, another thing, by the way. I added a mod that... Um, there's, there's sort of like an overlay that covers up the illustrations. And so just a mod that gets rid of the overlay, and it reveals these illustrations. You can usually just about see them uh, behind everything, you know? And yeah, different illustra illustrations for all of them. You can usually just see them faintly. Um, but not really. And so it's really nice to actually see them on these sort of, you know, these uh, building panels. It's really nice. I mean, why hide up? Why hide art in a game, you know? It's beautiful. So, that's the thing. Uh, okay. We just have to chill. Look, you can't do anything. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. So, how are we doing for growth here now? Uh, uh, there. 110. So, that's getting pretty good. That is going up pretty high. So, we will be able to upgrade Kiron next turn. We are starting to earn a bit of money just from the amount of fighting we're doing. Marienburg is earning a bit of cash, but not much. Yeah, not much. Um. I can't! Uh, one thing I'm a little bit concerned with as well. Because it's a rebellion, like a rebel army, and the faction still exists, they are, they're not going to take over Marienburg and then create Marienburg. They're not going to, you know, reawaken the faction, because Marienburg still exists, right? The faction of Marienburg still exists. So what they might do is just raise Marienburg to the ground, and it being raised to the ground is means I can't just easily reoccupy it. I'd have to give up most of my army if I'm going to take it back. Which would be very annoying. So I guess I just have to wait no, for these guys to take it back, possible. and then I can take it back from them. <laughs> we'll see. Oh my word! Holy cow! Uh, so I just saw a bunch of sparks flying. It looks like the orcs decided to attack no. the rebel army. But the rebel army's not decided to attack me yet, so this has been beautifully timed. They've actually, I mean, it's been terribly timed. Just the AI has happened to act agreeably. Um, they shouldn't have. They should have definitely just attacked me, but they didn't. Super weird. They really should have attacked me then. Um, but no, we're doing great. So, Quran, next tier, please. We'll be able to get uh, the, the, what's it called? The t uh, tool maker? Something? The seller. So we've got to get the cellar, which will let us upgrade our weaving house to a clothier. And uh, it'll also give us one other building slot that I will probably, probably throw into the Grail Shrine. Because I'll be able to get the Grail Chapel. Although, 
Park shelters are good too to put up growth and uh, replenishment rate. The tap room would keep everyone happy. And it also helps adjacent provinces as well. So this would actually benefit um, Marienburg while we get that, you know, its income off the ground, before. basically. We wouldn't have to waste a slot on um, trying to keep it happy. So there is that. Do you seek counsel? Uh, I do seek counsel. I also really want to burn that to the ground. But actually, this is good. It's going to take them a long time to get enough strength that they'll want to come and attack again. Light of the so, um, I'd say this is going well. I can't. I can't. He can't say it's going well. It's true. Okay. So, Johan Hertwig. You right there, mate? So, this is where we're going to end it. So, we're going to end the episode. I know. What a cliffhanger. It's not much of a cliffhanger, because we kind of know the result now. You know, Johan's right here, and there's not really anything he can do. So, that's good. That's good, isn't it? So we're going to attack him. It's going to be a good old laugh. So, guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, if you haven't already, be sure to check out uh, uh, nexus.com slash Janet for, um, for all, of your, all of your video gaming needs. Or at least lots of them. So, consider it. Anyway, <laughs> see you in the next one, guys. Have a good one.